Are you dying to live in Lakewood, but don't think you want the hassle of owning your own home? And maybe you think condo living is just right for you? Well, in this video, we're talking about all things Lakewood condos. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Living in Cleveland. I'm Patty, Patty Sell CLE, and I make videos about all things Northeast Ohio, Northwest Ohio, and even down South. You know the drill. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, leave some comments. Um, I read them, I respond, I love it. I love my city. Um, and I don't want you to miss any of my videos because they're so awesome. <laughs> It's been a couple weeks. It's summer. Um, so much going on. And um, the reason I'm making this video is because we recently purchased a condo for investment purposes. And um, we've been spending a lot of time in the Lakewood Gold Coast scene and um, checking out condos and looking at other condos. So I thought I would make a video about the condo scene and more specifically the Gold Coast area. Um, and if you're not familiar with the Gold Coast area, it's it borders Edgewater and Lake from 117th to about, which is the border of Cleveland and Lakewood. Um, so at Lake Edgewater down to about 121st, 125th. I'm trying to remember the addresses. Uh, so it's just a short little area and they call it the Gold Coast because at night, all of these tall buildings are lit up and when you can see them from the lake it looks it's gold and it's on the coast so i've had friends um in high school that who lived in the gold coast and i've been in some of these big buildings i have my favorites um so i thought i would just do a quick video about the condo scene and specifically on the Gold Coast, because those are very different, especially the three big hitters that I'm going to get into in, de in de great, greater, de uh, greater detail. Um, <clears throat> so first off, the condo I bought, it's just a little studio. It's at Marine Towers East. I paid $30,000 cash for it. It's on Edgewater. I don't really have views because the trees are in the way, but in the wintertime, you have views of the lake, um, but it's got a wonderful, beautiful, huge uh, in-ground outdoor pool that overlooks the lake with views of downtown. It's got a rooftop party room and an outdoor area on the roof where you can lay out with beautiful views of Lake Erie and downtown. Um, <clears throat> HOAs in Edgewater and the Gold Coast um, are a lot higher <clears throat> and especially the bigger buildings. Now my particular building has an assessment so you got to be careful of that. So um, for my studio, I'm going to be honest, the HOAs are pretty high, but we're hoping that assessment will go away and our HOAs will be around four or $500. But, you know, you're paying for the location and you can walk to West 117th Street where you have a Lucky's grocery store, you have a Chipotle, you have, there's bars, restaurants, you know, you're two seconds from downtown, you're two seconds from Edgewater Beach, you're just... It's, you're paying for the location and you're right on the water. So, um, safe building. I'm, I'm loving it. Um, I'm hoping to do long-term rentals in it. So we'll see. My husband's driving home from it right now. They're finishing up the kitchen and we're furnishing it. So I can't wait to see the finished product. So what I really want to get into are the three big hitters. And I'm going to start with from the west western end heading east. So the three big hitters, in my opinion, first one is the Carlisle. And I don't know why, but it's my favorite building. Um, the Carlisle, it's a big high rise. I've been in the building many, many times. I've shown condominiums to clients when I was in high school. I had a friend that lived there. Um, in fact, just a couple years ago, I was showing my stepsister and my cousin, they were both looking to buy condos, um, a one bedroom way up high. I can't remember what floor. And as soon as we got off the elevator, because you have these beautiful views, I am so afraid of heights. I was afraid to get off the elevator <laughs> and we walk into the condo. Oh, and my two girls, my college age daughters were with us and we open the door and the first thing they do is run to the balcony. I mean, we're almost at the top floor. It's so high up and they have balconies all the way up to the penthouse. And I was like, girls, get in here. And they're like bending over had the railing, like, Oh, look, mom. I have nightmares about it still to this day. Um, <clears throat> so 
But my favorite part now, and then we looked at other condos on like the first or second floor. I'm like, now this is my speed. This is perfect. You don't get the same views, but whatever. I, I couldn't live up high. But let's talk about the amenities. Now, the HOAs are high. Depending on their unit, you can be anywhere from 800 a month. And the higher you go, if you're in that penthouse, you're paying probably $2,500 a month. But you probably have a lot of space up there. Um, and I'll get to that in a minute. So you have a high HOAs, but what do you get in the Carlisle? You get a beautiful outdoor pool in, you know, in ground outdoor pool overlooking the water. You get an indoor pool, huge. I have a picture of it. You get a game room. You get um, a party room. Uh, you get, I, I begged her, she better not bark. Bernadette. Um, you get a deli. So imagine you come home from work. It's a long, exhausting day. You don't know, you know, you don't have any food up in your condo and you certainly don't have any wine. Guess what? They got you covered. Just, you get off that garage, get into the garage, into the building, stop at the deli, get yourself a meal, get yourself some wine. You're set for the night. Um, so they also do events. I think they still do. Um, when I was in high school, it was like Labor Day, and my girlfriend was like, come on over. They had music playing. They were, they were grilling hot dogs and hamburgers. Um, so just a great, I just love it. It's my favorite building. So that's the big hitter, number one. Number two, which is right next to it, is Winton Place. Um, Winton Place to me seems, oh, wait, let's go back to the Carlisle. I can't believe I forgot this. It's got a restaurant, the Summer House. Shh, the Summer House. Beautiful, beautiful corner view. My aunt took uh, myself, my cousin Molly, and my daughters for my birthday. And we had this corner view of all glass overlooking the lake in downtown. We went for brunch. Oh my gosh. They have a great happy hour. They have a great brunch. And it all looks over. It used to be called Swingos back in the day. So they have a really nice a destination place that anybody can go to. So awesome. Which was why it reminded me because the Winton place, which is right next door, has their restaurant is Pier W, which is pretty, pretty well known in the Cleveland area. Everybody's heard of Pier W. Their brunches are, they're, they're unbelievable. In fact, my aunt wanted to take us to Pier W, but they were booked up. My birthday's in March. They were booked up all the way through uh, April. So we couldn't get in there. They're also famous for their happy hours. And guess what? You can never get into those too. You gotta show up. We tried to go, my, my stepsister Liz and my cousin Molly, we tried to go and it was like the dead of winter. And we we're like holding on to each other because the wind was so strong and we couldn't even get in because, and we were there right at five. But this happy hour is supposed to be phenomenal. So now the Winton Place, same thing with those HOAs. They're gonna be high. And I'm pretty sure it's the Winton Place that has a penthouse for sale for one and a half million dollars and their HOAs are 2,900 bucks. But you get a downstairs and an upstairs, a corner unit, no thank you. They had a dining room table out there. They have a nice patio set. You couldn't catch me on that patio. No thank you. Uh, but also the Winton Place has an outdoor pool. It's got an indoor pool. It's got the game room. Oh, they both have fitness centers too. So a fitness center. Um, a game room. They do not have a deli, but it seems a little more modern, the building. I think it's a little bit more newer than the Carlisle. So Winton Place, beautiful building. They have, um, yeah, I had a friend, another friend um, in high school, and her family had a corner unit. It was spacious, too. I mean, it was a big, big condo. So right next to that now is called the Meridian. I do not that familiar with the Meridian. I never have shown anything in that building. I don't know anybody who's lived there, but I do have pictures and they also offer the outdoor pool, indoor pool, fitness center. I do not think they have a restaurant. If they do, I've never heard of it, but I don't think they do, um, but a big, beautiful building. So all these three high rises, those are the big three. Um, and those are on, shush, oh gosh. Sorry, I had to let my dog out. I told her she better not bark and she did not listen to me. Okay, so those are the three big hitters, the Carlisle, the Winton, and the Meridian. So those are on Lake, and I lied, it does not go to 121st Street, it goes all the way to 129th Street. Um, and that is, 12900 is the Carlisle. So from 117th up to uh, 
which is 129th, West 117th and West 129th. So it's about 12 blocks um, <clears throat> of condominiums. So you go down Lake and then you hit Cove and there are continue to be condos on Lake. But if you take a left on Cove, that dead ends into Edgewater. And that's where the rest of the big condominiums are. So right next to the Meridian and is an apartment building, actually. It's not a condo. It's called Marine Towers West. And they are recently, and so my building is Marine Towers East. And in between the two, there's an underground garage in Marine Towers West. I don't know what they did. And the view out of my condo, if I have a picture, I'll show it. They did something. They removed some sort of big, huge things and the whole garage collapsed because it's underground. It was like a grassy area on top. So my view, although I do have a view of the water, is of this huge gaping hole that used to be the roof of the garage. Um, I think nobody got hurt, but several cars um, were destroyed. Uh, and it's just been on the news in the last month or so, the contractors are, are getting sued and they may go to jail. So it's kind of a big deal. So that's an apartment building and it looks almost exactly like Marine Towers East, which is right next to it, which is my building. Um, and my building, um, it has studios, one bedrooms, two bedrooms, three bedrooms. Uh, what I like about my building, and this, if it ever comes for sale, I want it. Down at the end of the hall, overlooking the lake, so those end units, they have like it sticks out and it's all glass. It's like a glass, but it's it's not like a three season room. It's not a porch. It's part of the people use it. They put like a little sitting area out there. And I've been in a couple of these and people have done, cause you can remodel, do whatever you want. And the couple that I've been in have just been like, they redid the kitchen. They redid the bathrooms because they're all older buildings. So absolutely beautiful. Mine is just a teeny weeny little studio. It's so cute. Um, I love it. And, you know, but it's small. <laughs> but also, I did not pay much money for it. So, and then as you continue down to 117th, you have a mixture of apartments and condos. And they all overlook the lake. They all overlook downtown, and it's just such a cool area to be in. So now, let's talk about today in August, how many are for sale? So not just the Gold Coast, but just all of Lakewood, there are currently 26 condominiums for sale that range from a price of $39,000, which is too much because it's the exact same condo I paid for. Um, and I'm not gonna tell you what I paid for, but it's less than that. I think I probably already did say it. Uh, and it's in way worse shape. Like the whole bath, my bathroom is super cute. I don't have to touch it. Um, but this bathroom needs to be totally gutted, the whole thing. Like mine just needed a new floor and a small little kitchen. It's so cute, but show a picture. Um, so 39,000 all the way up to one and 1.5. So before 1.5, there's a, a half a million dollar one, which is a penthouse in the Carlisle. Um, oh, and those HOAs are thirteen hundred dollars um but it's three bedrooms which is pretty good two thousand square feet for five hundred thousand dollars you know and if you're looking for maintenance free living this is it you have you have an attendant a front desk attendant you have security you don't have to worry about any real upkeep you know it just it's easy living i mean it literally is Easy living. So this one is one and a half million, and this is at the Meridian, and it's twenty nine hundred dollars a month, but it's five thousand square feet. I mean, we're talking crazy big. Oh, and guess how much your taxes are? Twenty thousand dollars a year are your taxes. <laughs> okay, so now I want to talk about mid range. So for a hundred, one just came on the market yesterday in the Carlisle for one sixty nine nine, and it's a one bedroom. It is. 700 square feet and the HOAs are only 500 bucks. So, you know, if you can pay cash for one of these places, now personally, I would want a two or a three bedroom, but I think one of them, there's a two bedroom that is um, like 179. Um, the, the HOAs are only 600, but it has two bedrooms. I think it might have two or three bedrooms. So if you're paying cash and let's face it, a lot of these people are people who are downsizing. They've sold their home. They're paying cash for these. So if all you're paying is your taxes and your HOA fee, 
I mean, that's pretty cheap living. And to get it in the condo life, specifically in Lakewood, or honestly, anywhere, give me a call. I'm a real estate agent. I'll sell you a condo. I'll sell you a house. But um, specifically for this video, if you really are considering the condo life, um, give me a call. Um, and the one thing to know about condos, and if you want to finance them, here's the biggest thing. In my very first deal, when I first became an agent, uh, was a condo. And my mortgage person who was out of my office was like, okay, I'm going to teach you something. A condo has to be warrantable. I'm like, what does that even mean? So specifically, and this was many years ago, he goes, the Witten place has a lawsuit against them. So that, therefore, because of that lawsuit, you cannot finance because it is unwarrantable. So you are unable to finance a condo in the Winton because of that lawsuit. And so lawsuits can happen because, hey, somebody didn't pay their HOAs and whatever. They're getting, they're suing the Winton place because maybe they feel the Winton place didn't perform. Who knows? Who knows? So if you're going to finance, it has to be warrantable, which, you think, which is a thing I did not know, which I do know. But um, <clears throat> other than that, you can finance them just like normal, you know, especially, you know, it doesn't even matter if it's your primary residence, your secondary residence, if it's an investment property, um, you can finance them. But most people, you know, people who are older, downsizing, they've sold their home, they put it all and just pay cash for it. So there you go. So right now I'm going to take you on a drive and I'm going to come from both ways. It's going to start from the shore way which is what you get onto, and it's not, is it Route 2 maybe? I think it's 2, it turns into Route 2, um, and you get to it right from Lake or Clifton, and it takes you right downtown, and it overlooks the water. So I'm coming up, I pass Edgewater, so I'm heading west from downtown on the shoreway, which is beautiful, because you have views of, of the lake on your right, and then um, all of like Battery Park and that's Golden Square, which I have a video for that, um, on the left. And it takes you right into the, the big Cleveland sign and you can either go Edgewater, you can go Lake, you can go Clifton, depending where you want to go. And so I'm heading down, so I'm heading west when it starts out and I go all the way down to Carlisle and I make my way back. So I hope you enjoy, you know the drill, all my info's down there. Give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I get calls all the time. I'm currently helping several people from all over the world, actually, um, find places in Cleveland. So please do not hesitate to give me a call. I love to help. This is my job. This is my passion. And I hope you enjoy Lakewood Condos.